hello i welcome you to this video in this video i'll be showing you how to place trees plants cars and human being in your rabbit project and this is useful if you want to render your work with Revit. but if you are planning to render it with either lumion or 3ds mass then you don't need to to add trees and all those entourage it is advisable you leave it empty because if you are rendering it in 3ds mass 3ds mass has its own trees Viri has its own trees and if you are rendering it with lumion lumion also has its own trees and other things so you don't need them it's, it will not be it will not function in lumion it is only functioning in revit and without wasting your time let's see how we can add trees to this design so i'll click on place model and let me look for the ones that are loaded in this project you can see we have different different types here okay let me select one of them and place it here okay i can place them if i like i can go to the floor plan and rather place it on the floor plan then i can click on create similar and place you can even place two together it has your graphics you can place as many as possible okay let's say i want to edit it i want to edit the type of plants i want to use i can click let's say i want to change this one to something like orange let me click on edit then you will see the name here under the name you see render appearance here you click let's duplicate it and give it a name as um let's see i give it orange orange tree I'll click ok then under the appearance i'm going to click here then here you see different you see only one type here but if you click on this drop down you see other things that are hidden now i want trees general let me click on trees general now you see other trees that are hidden that you may not, you may not know are are existing and this is how they are going to look when you render them this one shows you how they are going to look the appearance when you render them okay let me try i want orange orange is under tropical trees tropical okay this is um orange tree okay click it and click okay click okay again and here it is if you want to increase the the height you click edit then here you will see the height let's see this is the height 5 5.4 let's say i want it to be as high as 12 meters 12 meters and click apply click ok and see it's big now okay then what if i want to place palm tree i can duplicate this one and name it as palm tree 
palm tree click ok and under the appearance you click and you click on this drop down and select tropical because tropical has to relate with all those palm trees and other things now which type of palm tree do you want to use let's say i want to use this type or or this one this is a um, banana japanese banana this is golden mali palm let's use this one and click ok the height the height can be 10 meters and click ok now let's see it in 3d okay okay this is how it's going to look the appearance this is how it look until you render it before the real appearance comes out okay so what if we want to place grasses like uh, flowers you can go to your let's i go to level one i want to place flowers i will do the same thing i'll click on components then place a component i can select from those ones that are already loaded and if you have not loaded them you can go and load it and um, i cannot see shrub here i cannot see shrub here I cannot see shrub okay let me try and load shrub load family you go to planting and if your revit did not load well you may not see this okay so i'm going to place this i will place it as many as possible place as many as possible you can take your time to organize it the way you want it okay now let's see the type of plant we want to use you click on the ditch then these are shrubs and grass let's say i want to use this one i can click ok and click ok this only apply, 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 this only applies to only this one the word of this one let's say i want to use a different one for this in that case i will have to duplicate it and give it another name let's say two and under the appearance i can select another type let me select this and click ok then let's say i want all other ones to have the same material in that case i'm going to right click and select all instances in the entire project it was okay let me unselect this one i will click on shift to unselect it click on shift and at the same time click on it to unselect it that's how we unselect anything in revit now it is only these four plants that i've selected now and i can duplicate them give it another name like three and click ok then on the appearance i can select another type of plant let me select this one and click ok then the height is one meter you can play with the height let's say i want it 900 mm and click ok okay so you can rearrange it the way you want it let's look at it in 3d you can see it is when you render it that the real color will come up okay now let's see 
whether we can place human being if we can place human being let's see how we can place human being you will go to the same component place a component let's load family then under the family we are going to click on entourage human being is on under entourage okay let's say i want to place a female i'll select a female click open and i will place it here now if i press my space bar it will rotate where the person will be facing i want the person to be facing the the step okay now let me click on this um, arrow to exit from the command now this is if you look at it now you can see that we have placed a human being but we are not sure of the type of person we have placed and as it is is like the person is sitting down and from our design here the person cannot be sitting in front of a step like this so i i will need to change it to somebody that is walking so i will sh select the human being edit then on the name on the appearance you click edit then you can see what you see here is people seated that's not what we want we want people that are walking we see other type here people college people casual okay you can ever see office clutter okay let's say i select mm, this is in front of the house we cannot select people travel okay let's select people travel and see is is assumed that this person is carrying a bag is returning from from travel and that is that should be a nice one i'll place him i'll place her there is a woman it's a female and is carrying bag okay let's let's assume i can duplicate it i also want a female a male i also want a male i click on the name select people in this case let me select casual people casual and i want to select a male i click ok click ok again oh undo because we have not duplicated it that's why it happened like that so i will duplicate it and give it a mail click ok click ok again and i am going to edit then select people people casual then select female click ok click ok okay you can see we now have two people so it is when you render it that the real appearance will come out okay what if i want to place a human being on the step if i want to place it on the step now it means i am going to go to the to the plan and let's say i will select it create similar and drop it let me rotate it to face okay let, let me assume that it's 
coming out of the house and let's view it in 3d oh it's not staying on the step in that case i will need to view it in the elevation this is where the human being is let me place a section line there and go to view okay this is the human being and um, let me duplicate it first Cynthia to be and I'll select a different person people casual let me select this person Tina and click OK then click OK again OK so I want her to be standing on this step so what I will do is simply move it and place it on this step I can move it backward a little bit using my arrow key OK so you can see now that it's standing on the step when you render it now you see the full color of the person okay so that is how you can place human beings you can place trees what of cars if you want to place cars i've already placed some cars if you want to place cars you can say create similar or let's say load project you will go to load family sorry entourage then you will see different different um cars you see b2 here you may not see interesting cars in revit so if i want to see other ones i can click on that place let's say i click on us live um imperial or let me click on the library and you check through all those folders and see the one that you may like vehicle okay this is one this is one ambulance we don't want ambulance sport car okay let's try this sport car and click ok ok then I'll I'll press my spacebar to rotate it and place it. Okay, that's your spot car. Okay, so that is how we can place our car. And there is not much you can do with it. You cannot tamper with the size. You cannot reduce it and cannot increase it. That's the most we can do with the car. When you render it now, the full color will come out. This is the right position. Okay, so that is how we can place cars, trees, shrubs, and flowers, and human beings. And I hope you benefited something from this video. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And there is a link in the description of this video where you can gain access to my complete revit tutorial master class get it as the very big discount today okay bye bye thank you for watching this video once again and see you in the next video bye